So far, we've set up the uh, Hypertext Transfer Protocol daemon, HTTPD, or the Apache 2 web server, and um, you know we verified that it was running. We accessed a web page, and now what we want to do is um, so, you know, either enable or disable directory browsing and, and look at how that's configured. And um, let me let me show you what will happen. By default, let me let's look at the configuration file. So I'm going to open gk sudo, and I'm going to just use the genome text editor gedit, and I want to browse to. I'm going to go to file system and etc, and I'm going to go to Apache 2 and I want to go to um, sites available and I want to load default here okay and looking at my default configuration file my root directory is as it should be and this is sort of the default install so it's there www and then look at some of the options here options follow some links um, in this case I, I'm not you know I'm going to allow you know you know, the user can load web pages and click on hyperlinks and things in that directory, but there's no directory browsing enabled. And what do we mean by directory browsing? Well, by default, um, Apache is going to try to load a, a file called index.html. And so if I open up a web browser and I just type in Pegasus or a host name or an IP and, and no page, no specific page, it should automatically default to index.html. But what I did here is, um, you know, I renamed it. All right, so with directory browsing turned off, let's see what happens. It should forbid me listing the directory contents. It'll tell me, you know, forbidden. All right, so I'm going to rename that. Um, remember, if you use the move command in the same directory, it's equivalent to rename. So not index.html to index.html. Okay, and now you can see there's an index.html page in there, so there is a default. And now, if I open up the web browser, and here's the host name, and there's Pegasus, um, it automatically loads that web page, that index.html. Okay, so in this directory, the root web browsing has been, or excuse me, the directory browsing has been turned off. Because again, you know, one more time, if if I rename that file, index.html to not index.html and were I to load the page here, let me reload, notice it forbids me access. So it's looking for that default page, and that's a nice security precaution, because again, if I were, if this were a database or a password-protected section of a website, I wouldn't want unauthorized or unauthenticated users browsing the directory contents. Um, so again, let me use the move command, and we'll rename that back to index.html. Okay, and now if I do it again, okay, and now it loads that page by default. Um, now, one of the things I could do is I could turn on directory browsing. And if I did that, if I turned on directory browsing, um, I would want to change this line here. And I would say instead, I would say options, indexes, follow sim links, and multi views. Okay, and let me save that. And remember, when you know, whenever you uh, modify a configuration file, you need to restart the daemon. And the commands are sudo uh, and restart, and then the daemon name. If this were Samba or this were FTP, but it's a little bit different for Apache. So sudo, it's going to be, and I'm going to go into the Etsy folder. It's actually a, a sim link um, that I want to grab or that I want to activate. And then Apache 2, and I'm going to pass in the option to restart the web server. Okay, so I restarted the web server, and now with directory browsing, let me go over here, and here's our web page, so I'm going to, again, I'm just going to rename it, to not index.html, save it, and, oh, we already saved the config file, I'm sorry, um, we already restarted the server, so uh, let me open up the web browser here, Ahead of myself. Okay, and now instead of being forbidden, now it lists the directory contents. And sometimes that might be what we want. And in this setup, what we're going to do is we want to enable directory browsing on the child directories, but we don't want to enable on the parent directory. And there's the web page. 
So let's turn that back off. So to test it again, I'm, I'm going to rename my file. Um, well, actually, before I rename my file, we'll rename it. But before we do that, let's change this back to what it was before so that we can turn it off. So we'll pull out indexes and multi-views. I'm going to save the file. And remember, whenever I do that, I've got to restart Apache. Um, loads the configuration changes. And let's make sure that it's turned off. Now it's going to load from the cache. OK, good. Now I'm, I'm forbidden. I already cleared the cache. And this is what we want. We want directory browsing turned off so that if, if I don't specifically know the name of a web page or a file I'm looking for, it's not going to allow me to browse the contents of that folder. So we want that on the parent directory. Now with that verified and testing, let's go ahead and rename you know, our default page. So sudo, again, we'll use the move command within the same directory and not index HTML to index HTML. And OK. And now, even though directory browsing is not turned on, if I load the page, it'll default to index HTML because it finds it now. It sees it there. OK. Um, and what I want to do is enable directory browsing on some subdirectories. All right, so I can't do this. Th these are some links I've added. Um, and notice that you know they don't really do anything. I, I can't go anywhere. And um, in gedit, I'm, I'm also going to open up that the HTML as well. Uh, I, I tried to keep it, you know just keep it to simple HTML so we could for the purpose of this example. But here's my index page, and you can see what my links are. So in this case, let's say that I want to access a directory or a folder called public. And if you look, I want to set up, you know, say I want to set up directory browsing on that. Here's my directory right here called public. And if I go into public, there's some files here. And let's say that I, you know, I just want to list these files. I, you know, I want to make these files available for browsing in that directory if the user chooses to go to that directory. So looking at my file structure, from you know, this is acting as root because of the way it's configured in my configuration file. If I hop over here, see how I'm you know var www. So if I print my working directory, then this is actually root as far as the web server is concerned. So the path to that directory there would be the absolute path, which would simply be forward slash and public. Okay, um, and then basically what I want to do is you know specify directory browsing so. It's kind of like HTML the way these config files are, but I'm going to hop down here after this tag, and this is where I'll start a new tag. And I'm going to say add opening and closing tags. And everything you put in for a directory is going to be in between these tags. So there's my closing directory, here's my opening directory, and I'm going to path it so it's going to be var www and public. Okay, in this instance, um, and we add the forward slash there. And the first thing I want to do is um, I want to go ahead and add options, indexes, follow sim links, multi view. And again, you know, just to to allow for directory browsing. Um, and then I'm going to change the order uh, as far as you know for server requests to default to allow and then deny. And I'm going to uh, basically change it to uh, allow from all for that directory. Okay. 